In this video, we show you how to install game config for GTA 5 Enhance. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So if you install a lot of mods on your GTA 5 Enhance, you need to install game config. And here, I'll show you how to install it. So first, you can go to GTA5Mods.com. You can download this bandit and enhance game config. So here, you just download the latest version and download again. And so next, we also need OpenIV to install the game config. So you can go to OpenIV.com and here, just click download now and download it and save it somewhere in your PC. Next, because OpenIV doesn't have full support for GTA 5 Enhance, we also need Z Enhance. You can also download it on GTA5Mods.com. Also put the link in the description. So we'll go ahead and click that and here just click download. Next, to make sure everything works, we also need Scribble V. You can click the link in the description. So here just click download and save it on your PC. All right, after you download everything, now you have all the necessary files, the game config, OpenIV, Z Enhance, and Scribble V. So to install them, you also need your GTA 5 Enhance directory. On Steam, you can go to library and then find your GTA 5 Enhance, right click on it, manage and browse local files. On Epic Games, you can go to library and then find your GTA 5 Enhance, click the three dots next to it, manage and click the folder icon to go to your GTA 5 directory. All right, now let's install Squarebook V. You can open up the zip file with WinRAR or 7-zip. For this, I will use WinRAR. Inside it, open up the bin folder and here what you need is X input DLL, Squarebook V and DLL input. If you want to install native trainer, you can also include it. So just select them and drag and drop it into your GTA 5 enhanced directory like that and next we're going to install OpenIV so just open up the OVI setup click continue read the terms click I accept hit continue again here you don't need to change anything just press continue and download the necessary files okay it's done close it open up OpenIV and you'll be greeted with this select GTA 5 Windows and then we need to locate your GTA 5 enhanced directory but before we do that let's open up the Z enhanced zip file open up the Z enhanced .exe and you'll have this menu here so you can select game folder go to your GTA 5 enhance and then hit select folder and what you want to do is click open IV fix this one and it's done go back to open IV installer click browse go to your GTA 5 directory hit select folder and it will detect GTA 5.exe so just click continue all right we're inside open IV now and the first thing you want to do is enable the edit mode and click yes there we go if you have this message here you can ignore it all right now go to your GTA 5 directory and here create a folder name mods so right click new and create a new folder name it mods now open up the mods folder and then right click on it create a new folder again name it update like that go back and open up the update folder inside your gta 5 directory and here you can copy everything but to install game config you can copy the update rpf so right click on it copy and then go to mods update and paste it here all right after that's done you can open up the game config zip file right click open open up the folder and inside it you'll have game config.xml go back to open IV and here go to mods update update rpf common data and here you'll see game config.xml so to install the game config all you have to do is drag and drop it into open iv so like that and that's done the game config is installed but now you can open up the z enhance again and we're going to install all of the asi files so you can click open iv files click ok and then click enhance files and that's done and everything is done you can close it go to your gta5 enhanced directory and here look for gta5.exe every time you want to open gta5 you can delete this exe folder and when you want to open open iv you can open z enhance again and click the open iv fix again all right before you open up your gta5 on Rockstar Games Launcher, go to settings and make sure you disable Battle Eye so you're not going to GTA Online and risk getting banned. 